Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss hyperlinks in Microsoft PowerPoint. And I have a list of items I'm going to cover, so let's go ahead and get started. If you want to create a hyperlink in PowerPoint, just simply select your text. And then you can either do Control K or you can right click. There's the word link. And if you had a recent file, a recent website open, it will show there. So I'm going to do a hyperlink first to a web page. Let's click there. A new feature of PowerPoint 2016, if you have an Office 365 subscription, is when you're in normal view, and if you look down in the bottom right corner, I'm in normal view, your hyperlinks actually work in normal view. You don't have to be in the slideshow to test your hyperlinks. So just so you know this, I do not have my browser running. I know you can't see it. And it doesn't matter what browser you pick. My default browser is Google Chrome. So Google Chrome is going to start up. And I should end up on the Office 365 new feature page. So Google Chrome is starting. And it went exactly where I thought it would. What's new in Office 365? So that's the URL. If by chance, let me show you this, I'm going to copy this. So now, if by chance, I'm going to right click and lose this hyperlink, remove link. I'm going to do a control K. You can always come here and here are your options. Control V. There's your hyperlink. I can even do a little screen tip. This is going to go to click OK, click OK. And once again, number four we just took care of, which says normal view. So now, this actually is a lot cleaner when you mouse over it. It says, what's new in Office 365? The second thing I want to show you, and again, it's another new feature only for PowerPoint 2016 with an Office 365 subscription, is I can change the color of the hyperlink. I don't like that color. Let's go make it blue. It's blue. Let's use the mini toolbar and make it green. It's green. Uh, previous versions of PowerPoint did not have that feature and also you have to have an Office 365 subscription. Another feature, so there's the edit color, that's number three. So now let's get a little fancy with this. I'm going to change slides. So here's what I want to do. I'm running through my PowerPoint presentation. And by default, PowerPoint is landscape. When you start a Microsoft Word document, it's portrait. In Microsoft Word, you can jump from portrait to landscape in the same Word document with section breaks next page. PowerPoint does not have section breaks. So if you need to do a portrait presentation, so I'm going to do a new file. Control N. By default, it's landscape. You would come up to the design tab in the customize group, slide size. It's kind of an unusual place if you ask me. Custom slide size, landscape, make it portrait, click OK. You may not get this box right here. If you do, I don't care which one you pick. If you don't get it, that's fine. So now we have a PowerPoint presentation that's running that is portrait. Now, you don't use this very frequently. Here's an example of when you would. So let me close this. I have a PowerPoint presentation, and I'm running through it, and I need to throw in an income statement that's already been created. And if I zoom in on this, 
you can see why I made this portrait because it runs up and down the page and it looks fine when I'm in my slideshow. I've already tested that. So I didn't fill out this entire income statement for ABC company, but I need to go from my main presentation to this presentation that has income statement back to my main presentation to a certain slide. So here's where we're going to get advanced with hyperlinks. So I'm actually going to close this. You could, I could leave it running. And I'm making this up here. Let me go ahead and type this in here. So I showed you how to create a hyperlink. And now we're doing something advanced. And, but if I was really doing this, this would say income statement. I'm going to highlight income statement. One, two, three clicks. I'm going to do a control K. I could right click also. I don't want to go to a web page, but I do want to go to an existing file because I have another PowerPoint. So right over here, you could go and find whatever folder you need to look in with this icon right here. You can also hit the drop down here and go, I happen to be in the correct place already. So I'm going to just scroll down, income statement, click OK. Uh, one, two, three clicks. Let's definitely change that one. There we go. Point, control, click. It opens up immediately. So I went from one PowerPoint that was landscape to a second presentation that's portrait. And just so you know this, because I'm recording, I can't show you this, but if I was actually running my slideshow, this presentation would open up in slideshow view because it opened up in normal view because I was in normal view. Now here comes the tricky part. I need to go from this presentation. So assume that I'm in slideshow view and I'm on this slide. So you don't even know that I opened up another presentation in real life. You would just say, oh, he went from landscape to portrait. But I need to go from here back to the other presentation and I want to land on this slide that says hidden hyperlink. So let me pull the other one back up. I'm going to do an insert. I'm going to put an icon in. You can, I've hyperlinked from text. This time I'm going to hyperlink from an icon. So you can hyperlink from text, pictures, shapes. I'm going to put it right up here in the top right corner. I think I'm going to change the color because it doesn't look very good. That looks a little better. Control K. Is it selected? I want to go back to... That's my main PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to come over here to the right. Here's the cool part. I'm going to select bookmark. There are all my slides. And remember I told you I want to go to the hidden hyperlink slide. Click OK. Click OK. So let's test this. I'm going to save this. I'm going to leave it running though. I'm going to swap back to my other PowerPoint. I'm running through my slideshow presentation. I think I can set this up for us real quick. Let me see. Problem is if I run the slideshow, it makes the screen full screen. So set up show, browse, let's see if this works. I'm gonna run my slideshow, F5. Perfect, 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 perfect. That's a summary slide I'm running through. I want to click here to jump. This is called a summary slide. I'm doing another video on summary slide. I'm going to point here and click. Watch. Perfect. So you don't even know that I went to another presentation unless you're looking up top here. And if I was running slideshow full screen, you would not see this anyway. So here's the trick. Let's see if I go to that slide. I do. How about that? I'm going to close this present. I'm going to hit escape. So that was simply doing a hyperlink, opening up the other file where you went to, and then hyperlinking back.
back. I'm doing it again. I hyperlinked back first to the file, which was right here. Then I went to bookmark and found the slide number. I just want to review that again with you. So let me close this. Let me go back to my main presentation. So let's go back here and take a look. So I've showed you how to create a hyperlink. We've hi hyperlinked from text. We've hyperlinked from uh, an icon. You can do a picture. I haven't done hidden yet. I'm about to do it. I showed you how to edit the color. Office 365 only. Normal view. Office 365 PowerPoint. I just showed you the advanced hyperlink going from landscape to portrait back to your main presentation landscape with a bookmark. A hidden hyperlink, I don't use this very frequently, but I do want to cover it. By default, when you create a hyperlink, control K, I don't care. It always underlines it. I'm going to undo. If you don't want the hyperlink underlined, there's not a lot you can do except this. Insert, shape. I usually use a rectangle for this. I'm going to draw the rectangle around here. I'm going to go up top. Drawing tools format automatically appears. The shape fill will be no fill. And the shape outline directly below it will be no outline. So that item, that rectangle is actually still there. I just explained you can do a hyperlink from anything. So control K. I'm running through my slideshow. I get to this slide. I point. I click. because I don't have to use control now because I'm actually in my slideshow and google.com appears by the way just a little information google chrome is updating their browser you'll have it uh you can always go run your up update your browser but you notice they got a kind of a new layout going on i like it i believe let me get back on track here i believe we're done I appreciate it. went a little long on this, but we covered a lot of topics, including that advanced hyperlink, which I know a lot of people have an issue with. Everyone have a great weekend. Thank you.